The controversy, meantime, continues after Kern County's clerk announced wedding ceremonies will not be performed at the county building as of June 13th. Members of the gay and lesbian community are now questioning the clerk's decision, and now so is another Kern County elected official. 17's Alex Valle joins us in studio tonight with that story. Alex? Keoshia County Supervisor is blasting Kern County Clerk Ann Barnett and calling for change. Barnett refused to answer our questions on camera today and delayed a wedding ceremony so that we would not film it. Okay, what do you say to people who say you're an elected official and they want to have answers? They want you to talk about it publicly. For the fourth day in a row, Kern County Clerk Ann Barnett refuses to answer questions about her announcement Wednesday that weddings would no longer be performed at the county building. This after California's highest court refused to set aside its decision legalizing same-sex marriages. We've already made our decision clear and I'm not going to comment any more about it. I really have other things to do and I have have to focus on those things so I have no more comments but thank you. Okay what do you say to people who say you're an elected official and they want to have answers they want you to talk about it publicly? I have no more comments. Thank you. You won't even comment as a public official. In accordance with the law, same-sex marriage licenses will be issued, but Barnett's office will no longer officiate any weddings. In a press release, Barnett says budgetary problems and security concerns are to blame for her decision. While at the county building, we found Eduardo and Inez Salas, one of the last couples who will get married here. My brother, he is in the U.S. Army, and they gave him some time off, so he called me and, you know, just planned this, like, in three weeks, and to me, this was more convenient and affordable as well. The couple told us we could film their wedding, but as they waited for their name to be called, the county employee seen here talking to Ann Barnett told us we could not come inside. After explaining it is a public building, the clerk's office finally agreed to let us shoot the couple's wedding. Take the Gerardo. Take the Gerardo. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. Now a county supervisor is coming forward to challenge Barnett's decision. Supervisor Don Maben plans to bring up this issue at the Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday. I think that uh, this was uh, the only excuse that she could uh, deny them their right to get married is by denying everybody their right. Maben says he hopes to find another county department that can offer civil ceremonies to all couples. As an elected official, you're elected to represent the public. You're, you're also elected to be accessible to the public. And the best way to be accessible is to talk to folks like you in the news industry. Uh, how else is the word going to get out? How are questions going to be answered? The Kern County Clerk's decision to stop performing marriage ceremonies is getting national attention. Here's a list of some of the newspapers and TV stations covering the story. The San Jose Mercury News, the Minneapolis St. Paul Star Tribune, the Charlotte Observer, WBAY in Green Bay, and KSBY in San Luis Obispo. As it stands right now, gay and lesbian couples can legally get married in Kern County beginning June 17th. And Assemblywoman Jean Fuller is joining us. Assemblywoman, good evening. Hi. Do you think there is legislative or political will in our state to overturn the state Supreme Court's decision on gay marriage? Actually, the legislature now will leave it to the people. There will be an initiative, as you all know, and most of the legislators will support that in one way or another, either financially or by endorsing it. In the meantime, what do you think about the decision here in Kern County by Clerk Ann Barnett to stop performing marriage ceremonies? Well, given the budget crisis that she has to administer and the fact that she believes that uh, the marriages will increase and there will be an additional cost above and beyond budget, uh, since she, that's not really an item you can slash and say, I'm just going to let few people do it but not everybody, so she probably is wise to uh, cut it completely. But doesn't the county make money every time their uh, marriage is performed there? Well, uh, the money, there, is, there is some money made, but again, she's pointing out the facilities and the manpower needs, and she is the officer in control of that. And, and it's to her own discretion, and, and she decides. Her, it, is to, it is to her discretion, and there are other counties that have made this decision. So you don't think there are any other motives behind that decision? Well, I, I think that given the situation she's in, that she believes that she is supporting the will of the people, as do I, and Proposition you know, 2000 was voted by the people. This is a judge, not the people. So given her elected position, I think that probably that's a situation that she has, to, um, she has to carry out. And I admire her for her principles.
Kern County may perform gay marriages after all. As we were first to report on our new website, bakersfieldnow.com, one county supervisor says he will try and get a new department to perform the weddings, straight or gay. 29 Eyewitness News reporter Jose Gaspar has also been trying to get answers from our public officials about the controversy. Jose is here now. Lisa, all this stems from the controversy over the county performing gay marriages. Auditor Controller County Clerk Ann Barnett decided to cancel all wedding ceremonies performed by the county as of June 13th. But at least one county supervisor says that decision is just plain wrong. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I do wed. I do wed. Gerardo and Ines Salas just got married today at a ceremony performed by the county clerk's office. But if Auditor Controller County Clerk Ann Barnett gets her way, there will be no more wedding ceremonies performed here as of June 13th, saying the ceremonies are a financial drain for the county. County Supervisor Don Maven says that's not right. I don't know if they're profitable or not, but what they are is a benefit to the citizens, particularly those who don't have the money to afford to, to, for a more expensive ceremony. Arnett canceled all weddings here after the California Supreme Court gave the green light to gay marriages set to begin June 17th. Barnett's office also reportedly sought legal advice from a conservative group opposing gay marriage, seeking legal protection for Barnett if she canceled all civil marriages. Jose Gaspar, Channel 29. Yes. Here to see Ann Barnett. Okay, um, just a moment, please. We tried to track down Ann Barnett going to several county offices to get her to answer some questions about this, but she dodged us. Oh, there she is. Do you want to put your new yeah. number down? Ann, can I talk to you? Do you want to leave your name and number? I've already talked to your staff. See you later. And off she went. By the virtue of the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Supervisor Don Maben says if Barnett refuses to perform any weddings, he'll see if another county department will do it. So I'm going to make a request for Mr. Rea to see if there's another county department that's dispersed throughout the county that can take over that function. Supervisor Don Maben says if his fellow supervisors support his request, it will then be determined which county department can take over performing wedding ceremonies, gay or straight. We here at 29 Eyewitness News will continue to try to hold County Clerk Ann Barnett accountable for her decisions. We know you have questions, and we do too. We'll continue to try and get the answers for you as well. Lisa? Jose, thank you. Supervisor Maben points out that two other county departments already help the county clerk's office in issuing marriage licenses. In Ridgecrest, for example, people can get a marriage license from the county's child support services. In Mojave, the probation department was also helping out issuing marriage licenses. 29 Eyewitness News will follow up and will let you know what happens with marriage ceremonies in Kern County.